This is a Hometown Radio Network information update. In preparation for the Thursday night workshop on how Danville's upcoming alcohol vote will be regulated and how it will impact the community, Danville City staff are compiling the questions submitted in advance by citizens and most fall into three categories, DUI rates, economic impact, and visual clutter. We have obtained before and after statistics in all three categories from other Kentucky communities who voted wet in recent years with surprising results. First, in a study of almost 40,000 alcohol-related Kentucky traffic accidents, researchers discovered the number are statistically lower in wet counties, presumably because residents don't have to drive as far to get home. Jail data shows DUIs actually decreased after communities voted wet. Scott County's DUIs plummeted, and DUI arrests in Garrard County went down 14 percent after sales began last year. After Murray went wet, there was a dramatic decrease in DUIs among Murray College students who didn't have to drive to the next county to purchase liquor. Economically, in 2006, the city of Elizabethtown showed an increase of $173,000 in revenue from alcohol licenses and sales tax, and Cave City showed a dramatic increase in tourism and entertainment development. As for visual clutter, the city of Danville already has in place strict sign ordinances which prevent external neon and brand name signs. Two years ago, a Danville restaurant with an outside dining deck had to replace their table umbrellas bearing the name of a wine company because that was considered outside advertising. At Thursday night's workshop, representatives of local code enforcement, law enforcement, and state alcohol beverage control will be on hand to present additional information and answer other questions submitted previously. It's Thursday night at 7 at Danville High. The election is in two weeks, Tuesday, March 2nd. Issues involving alcohol must be at special called elections when no candidates are on the ballot. If you're a registered voter in the Danville city limits and will be out of town March 2nd, you can request an absentee ballot from the Boyle Clerk's Office, which must be returned by February 24th, or vote on the early voting machines already set up in the Clerk's Office. I'm Vicki DeLee Hyde.